All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we're actually going to be taking a look at one of my most hyped games. I guess you can't really say 2017 because they're planning for a release in early 2018 in the first quarter. That's the information I got out of them at Gamescom. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is Sea of Thieves. Oh, my gosh. This game is so beautiful. It's so fun. It's a game where you crew a pirate ship. And you scour the seas, and you're looking for booty and other pirates, because there's plenty of different ways to take booty. Now, in this adventure, we're going to set off first to basically look at this. I'm, I'm getting everybody on the ship. I'm like, I've been here before. We can't muck about on the beaches as long as we did in the last time that I played this at E3. Oh, no, sorry, Bob. We're going to get on the ship, and we're going to immediately look for treasure. So the guys I'm with right there is that that big guy is Doom, and the guy in the background with the sword hacking at us, that is Blitz. So it's Doom, Blitz, myself, and some random dude, a German dude, that was at Gamescom 2. And we also have someone, we're all playing this via um, microphones. <laughs> like, in-game chat, basically, is what's going on. Look at that beautiful storm in the background. I missed that lightning bolt because I was worrying about raising the anchor. But... So we're, we, we, we've got kind of like an overseer giving us tips and advice whenever we need it. Not overhelping, but if we get stuck or if we have a question, we can ask him. So right now, if treasure you seek, then heed my word. Crook's Hollow should be preferred. Now, look at those three little pieces of information. We've got two random treasure maps and then one random note. Now, I'm not sure how Sea of Thieves is going to work uh, as released, but this is a technical alpha a playable build. But look at these two treasure islands, right? So basically, we don't have the names of these islands. We just have our two little maps. All of us have those same three hints. Then there's this world map, or area map, rather. And that is where our ship is next to Plunder Outpost, right? So the thought is, we identify the island, and then we go to it. Now, we made the mistake of reading the note and sailing for where that island was and here i am trying to find it but look how many islands there are just in this little world this is a technical alpha a relatively small area yet it is highly populated with different types of islands from what i've gathered there's look at that that shipwreck bay oh look at that that's that's flight of the valkyries right here but it's like it's <laughs> so right now I'm pretty sure that's Blitz on his little, I don't even know what that's called, but it's like an old school instrument, you know, where it's just the bag in the middle and you're, you're moving it back and forth. I'm making motions with my hands, but unfortunately, since I'm in Germany uh, recording this, I don't have the ability to do face cam. So yeah, we're all checking out the map. Look at us. And so there's our ship. We got to figure out where to go. The map is beautiful. Everything about this game is just beautiful. Actually, if you look at the map, there's some dynamic kind of like like shadows and clouds going on the periphery. I think that's pretty cool. So now after checking the map, we go back topside and we pull the anchor up. So the anchor can go up, one person can do it, but if you get more, the more the merrier, the faster it does go up. So here I am with, I believe it's Blitz and Doom at the same time, we're pulling up. Now the German guy, um, or just the other guy is the one that is going to be the captain of our ship. And needless to say, I, I felt like I spent a lot of my time steering the ship in the last one, so I wanted to have a different experience. But I gotta say, in hindsight, I should have been the captain. Because I'm, I'm telling you what, guys, I'm a natural pirate captain. So here we are, and I'm, I'm kind of now, right now, what's happening in the game is I'm telling them, you know, which direction to sail to get to the island. But we, we may have made a little mistake. And assuming that the treasure maps we had also fell in line with the hint that we got. Now, also, what's really interesting is at the same time we're doing this, I believe there's four, well, there's at least three other crews. Other crews of four on the seas also looking for treasure. They also have the same hints we do. So it's quite possible that we could encounter them. It's also quite possible that they we might not encounter them at all. And that, what I think is pretty cool about that, is that every time you play this, it's going to be a very, very different experience. Now, I played this before at E3. Um, there's going to be a link in the video description below, so you guys can check that out. We're currently loading up our cannons, so that if we do encounter an enemy crew on the seas, then, you know, we can give them what fire. And we can basically, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully sink them. Now, I will tell you this. Just a little hint, no spoiler alerts, but little hints. 
there's going to be combat with other ship crews in this series. Now, this footage was pretty long, and it's this is a good time. Like, this is a really, really fun game. A lot of stuff happens in this. It's actually kind of crazy to think all the stuff that we managed to go. So, Crook's Hollow was on the map, was, uh, was the little note. But if you look at that island, and then you look at the island that we had, or the two different islands that we had, one was a little mini archipelago. It was three islands, and then there was one bigger one. So, you can see that Crook's Hollow is directly ahead of the mast. So we're sailing in that direction. Now just look at the water effects, look at the weather effects, the sunlight, the lighting, the colors. Look at, oh my god, I, I you know what's weird? I never noticed what was on our sail before. It looks like a merlion. Merlion is like uh, a fantastical beast, a mythological beast that is very popular in Singapore, interestingly enough. And I, I've spent some time in Singapore when I was studying abroad back in the day. When I thought I was going to be get this, I, I thought, I was like, you know what? I want to work in container shipping of all things. Kind of crazy. But I just have a love for the ocean, and I have a love for this game. Specifically because of its nautical themes and atmosphere. So here we are. Every time you pass an area, it'll pop up like that and it'll give you this little prompt. We're passing the Lost Silver Isle, as you can obviously read. That is not where we're heading. We want to go to Crook's Hollow, but look at that. I'm, I'm looking around. We're looking for other crews. Someone said they spotted a ship. So right now we're turning the ship around. This is basically how it went. Someone's like, oh, there's a, and a there's other ships out there. And our, and our guy's like, oh, they're behind us. Well, I'll turn the ship around. Guys, there wasn't an enemy ship behind us. There was some faulty communications, but that's the beauty of this game, is if you want to be a single-man crew, you can take out a smaller ship, and you can do that. Now, that being said, there's some synergies to having more people on a bigger boat. You got more people to do different tasks. You got more people to fight, more people to, you know, arm the cannons, man the sails, you know, drop and raise the anchor things of that nature but this is good lord now that i'm just getting to sit back and just enjoy the visuals like you guys are right now this truly is just magnificently beautiful game i'm just kind of shocked at how just gorgeous this game truly truly is i mean it cannot be denied okay so see that there's some docks over there and there's some buildings that's an outpost actually that's the outpost we left because we kind of did a 360. I'm fairly certain that's the outpost we left. Left. Let's see. It's. I'm, I'm trying to get the map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely the one we just left. And we just we just pinged at Lost Silver Isle. So a little bit of communication. Look at that. One's called Chicken Island. And it kind of looked like a drumstick. I love how the islands are different. Some are very mountainous. Some are literally just like sandbars with a few palm trees. You know, strewn about the ocean. And then others are just sheer rocks coming out of the ocean. There's also like sunken ships, or mostly sunken ships. Some of them semi-sunken ships. And look at that one ahead. This one here, it's got multiple levels, and then there's Doom getting on the uh, the mast here, getting his big booty all up in my way. So I'm gonna, uh, look at that, you can cut lanterns. And now let's just say theoretically that you were to come across an enemy pirate ship in the nighttime, which, you know, may happen, I don't know. Well then, you know what would happen? is you'd want to cut your lamps so that you could hopefully stealth a little bit more and be recognized a little bit later. So it's at this moment that my sharp eagle eyes notice that there's these little skeletons running around. So what I'm curious about, is there a necromancer in Sea of Thieves? Is that like the enemy boss? Now I believe, is this my shotgun or is this my pistol? This is my pistol right now. Oh, I just barely missed him. So we've got people firing cannons, as you can see. I'm firing my pistol. Now, what happened was, you see how there was that shuddering in the ship? Our captain, our brave captain, decided to sail this giant ship. And I'm like, wait a minute, something's wrong. Something's wrong. And I go down to get ammunition, and I hear this weird sound. And look at that! We are literally flooding. So I think at this point, Doom, Blitz, and I all go down here. And we're trying to find the buckets. We're panicking. I didn't know where the buckets were. Here's a pro tip, guys. The buckets are in your inventory. At least they were for this technical build. I'm not sure if you have to craft them or find them or they're just default. So right now we're looking for the leak. And I go to the bow of the ship that made impact with a giant rock, and there it is. 
and, and we're like, where are the planks? Where are the planks? And Doom here is like, I got the plank. So we're trying to patch this hole, right? Well, there's no oxygen meter, but we're literally underwater. And needless to say, humans need to breathe. And that's what happens if you don't, you die. Or maybe, maybe it was like a semi-unconscious. And look at that, there's our ship rolling over and sinking. Look at that, you can see the damage marks where it hit. So people are like, we have no sheer leader because I'm trying to tell him what to do. But the other guy, the random dude, is just barking out orders that are terrible. He's like, let's sail for the island. Let's sail back or let's swim back up. It's like, that's a terrible idea. So I'm thinking, if I'm going to sail to an island, I'm going to sail to the island where we think the treasure is, right? So that's what we try to do. Now, there's three different p clues, right? And this one looks to be, I think that this is Crook's Hollow. But we come to some realizations a little bit later. So once again, if you want to see the other footage where we get a little PvP action in it from E3, I believe it's the same build because we kind of had, look at that, that tor, that, that, oh my god, did you see that lightning bolt? I gotta say, when I was a kid, I was a huge fan of rare games. And then it kind of had this dark period where it was kind of like, what you guys doing? What you guys up to? You know, what, what, where's all these killer hits that used to be pumping out? And look at this. I go underwater. Look how beautiful it is even under the water in the shallows here. All the little seaweeds and sea plants and stuff like that. And so it's at this time I realized the necromancer might be on this island too. I don't know if there's a necromancer. So I'm trying to aim at him. Now the mouses we used were, were very hypersensitive. So I was having all kinds of issues. Look at that. I fired right over his shoulder. And then uh, come in there, shotgun him down. And here it's time to climb the island. And we're thinking that this is the treasure island. Don't we? Crew, we're out here looking for treasure. And look at that. that so that smoke column is basically... Well, you're going to find out later. But there's something there that will help us get our ship back. Interestingly enough, at least for this alpha build. So we can get bananas and we can get planks. Now, I'm not sure if you can craft yourself a raft, but if you can, then certain things like these. And bananas restores your health if you've taken any damage. So naturally, I want to get to the top of this island and see what's what. Look around. And look at this. I find Pride Rock. And look at this, man. I got a banana just staring off into the sunset, holding a banana. Look, well, I mean, not literally the sunset, but, you know, figuratively speaking. Now, there's a number of other tools, and I kind of regret, I rue, not having looked at them. Look at this map. So, there's only one X mark on this. You know, and so I'm, I'm looking around for treasure here. And so now starts the search for the treasure. Now, I got to say this. I, mm, we, there was a, oh my god, you hear that? That's the skeletons out there. So, so Doom is engaging the skeletons and he's yelling to Blitz and I like, Hey, I'm fighting skeletons, help me. And so the, the, the other guy, the random guy in our group runs off to help him. And uh, I'm, I'm just dead set. I'm like, I got to find that booty. I got to find that booty. All right. So it's at this moment I realize, you know what? That's a fool's errand. Where's my crew? And they're like, we're swimming to the flare. This, this kind of like smoke column that's coming out of the, o uh, the, out of the ocean. Yeah, out of the ocean. And I'm swimming, keeping an eye on her, because the guy says, you got to be careful about the ocean. And I'm like, why? It's beautiful. Look at all these, these beautiful plants. And it's at this moment I see sharks. Those things in the distance are sharks. And they're kind of swimming around my crew members here. So I get my shotgun out, and I swim under the water, because let's be honest, man. And I'm like, shark! And we're firing shotguns. This is a technical alpha build. Obviously, you're not, I'm not expecting you, and I, I should be pulling out my pistol, but I'm kind of panicking because these sharks are scary. Can you imagine? You're swimming in the ocean, trying to get back to your, you know, where your ship sunk, and you see these huge, great white-looking sharks. Look at that. They're, like, swimming at me, man. They're just kind of circling one of my friends over there, and I don't know if they're attacking him or what, but I'm just like, dude, I got to get over here. And look at this. Listen to this music. How trippy is this? Look at this thing. It's a freaking mermaid. It's a pirate mermaid. So I click it, and lo, lo and behold, after some weird time in this white kind of, what's that called? The Catholics have a word for it, where it's like when you're in between, 
you know, have it in the other place. I wanted to say apartheid. <laughs> that, that, that is not even close to the right word. But when you're on two hours of sleep, you know, in 48 hours, yes, well, in 36 hours, you get a little loopy with your word choice. I forgot purgatory. That's what it is. We were in purgatory. And look at the, this ship is just so beautiful. And we got, we got Flight of the Valkyries again playing. And someone, you hear that click, click, someone's raising the anchor. I was swimming towards the ship and Doom's like, I'm raising the anchor. I'm like, you gotta wait for all of us. So all four of us are on the ship. We've raised the anchor. And now it's at this point, I realized that we kind of were going about this treasure quest all wrong. So we respawn at um, Wanderer's Refuge. And I'm not sure if that's like the default respawn point or not. But so we realized Crook's Hollow is like, look at that visually. It doesn't match my treasure map. And that's kind of what we're getting a little hint with right now. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I kind of navigated us, you know, in the wrong direction. And our captain destroyed our ship. And then we were on the wrong island, you know, fighting the undead. And basically, look at that, look at that sunken ship to my left. And there's just a flock of like, what looks like 60 birds, man. Just like, those are big birds, like seagulls and condors, like giant seagulls. But that's a shipwreck. And then there's just that random rocks, right? So it's like, that could be a pretty interesting place for a duel. So I look at those three islands and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna find these three islands on the map. Or I could find this one. I'm gonna see whichever one I identify first. And obviously those three islands are gonna be easier. And that's Snake Island, right? And so you can see that if we're in a race to find treasure, then clearly we're a little, look at that, Golden Sands Outpost. That looked like a couple ships maybe strewn together. There was definitely some bridges between them or something strange. Old Salt Atoll, Lost Silver Isle. And look at that, Chicken Isle. And then we've got Snake Isle. So I realized where my spot is and I, and I, I tell my crew, guys, we gotta sail we gotta sail directly east from our present position. Look at look in the top left, that's the compass, right? So east is to the left, west is to the right, south is straight, and north is behind us. Um, and look at that, Fool's Lagoon. Maybe that's where we should have ran into. So I'm telling them, hard to port. We need to sail east. And we need to get to Snake Isle to where the treasure might be. And now, I'm pretty sure at this time there's three or four, maybe even five other crews running around the same stretch of ocean. So we're, we're kind of hungry. We're like, all right. And so we're like, I'm like, guys, we're probably a little late to the treasure. So what we've got to do, since we're going to be late to it, is we got to find the enemy crews. we got to find them. And we have to beat them in combat and steal the treasure off them. If they're any good, if they're even average good, since we lost our ship and had to respawn in it, they're probably there. We're just gonna have to fight them. We're gonna have to duke it out. So you'll notice that we didn't go straight east. I like we're we're sailing straight towards Fool's Lagoon. Isn't this a beautiful, beautiful game? Look at this. So at this point. I'm like, we gotta, we gotta make some good time. So I, I, I sound out, hey guys, let's, let's move the sails so they can catch this wind a little bit better, right? So we find out how to do that. You can set sail length and there it is, set the sail angle. This is how you basically accelerate. And look at that, you can even see visually the sails will billow up, fill up, and you know, you're gonna be able to catch the wind better. And when you catch the wind better, your speed goes up. That's how, that's how a ship with sails goes faster. The better, the faster the wind and the better your sails can catch the wind, the faster you're gonna go. And this is a pretty big ship. However, at this time and age, sometimes bigger can go faster. You know, there's an optimum level. And I'm wondering how a ship like this would do against, obviously be faster than rafts, but I wonder how it would do against like a small single person sailboat or like, if you could specialize, this one seems to be pretty well armed. I think it's got four or five cannons on each side. And what I'm curious about, what if you could just go like two cannons and a, a little twin masted ship that's for like two or three people? Like, what if you just wanted to zip around the ocean real fast? 
Is that going to be an option? These are kind of the questions that I have. So now nighttime is what nighttime is happening. And just look at the colors of the ocean. And we're all like, and look at that. I think I just saw a sail past, past Fool's Island, which is directly ahead of us, which um, I think the guy, on the, I think that's Blitz out there saying, hey, that's the, that's the island or whatever. And then look at it. Look at that face. He's like, I see turtles. But yeah, dude. So our islands are a little bit to the right of where our direction is right now. So now at this point, am I gonna? I'm, I'm reading the crew. If treasure is seeked, then heed my word. Crook's Hollow should be preferred. So maybe we should have found Crook's Hollow on the map because that is definitely where the treasure is, right? But then we we would have no idea where it would actually be. Whereas if we find these islands, we actually have red X's. So presumably in the game, it's going to be a little bit of a quest to find, you know, how to find the treasure, right? And then I think that basically a crew can get the treasure. And once that happens, any crew can rob them. It is a sea of thieves after all. And this is kind of the point that was made in the last video. Look at that. I see two ships. I see one ship for sure. And I think I see two. They've got their lanterns on, so it makes them easier to see. You can definitely see them. So I'm like, guys, we got to stealth up. Let's cut the lanterns. So everybody cuts the lanterns, and we're all, like, hopped up. We've had some misfortune at this point. We we sunk our ship. We didn't find any treasure on that island. There might not have been any booty to plunder. You know, Doom and I, we died trying to patch up the ship. We were basically chased by sharks to the mermaid, to the magical new ship, and we had to start over. All the while, our foes, the other pirate crews on the ocean... I mean, in my head, they're just swimming in gold coin on their ships back to get grog, you know, at the at the harbor, right? And I'm just like, man, our crew is having a rough, rough time. But then we see that and we're like, nope, we got it. So this is what my thought is. I see one ship just banking straight towards the island. And I know that when you get treasure, you have to take it in to get your reward, right? And, I, and that, that island has lamps on it, lanterns on it. So look at that, two definitive ships over on the left horizon right there. Left of the mast on the horizon, you can see them. They got those just bright lanterns. And you can see just these beautiful visual effects in the nighttime. Like, look at the stars. Like, this is this is ridiculous. Rare is is literally making art. So my, my thought is, they got the treasure. They're going to turn it in to the harbor. We need to sail straight for the harbor. So instead of trying to intercept them to the left of the rock, which was the original plan, and fight it out with the two ships, we have to intercept the treasure. I'm, I'm gambling on this, by the way. And that's what we pirates do, right? It's got to be a lot of gambling and a lot of just, like, winging it, right? We're not Navy men, after all. And so I'm just like, we got to intercept. Head, head straight, head straight for the island. But at this point, everybody's getting cannon hungry. We don't know where the other ship is. I know, it's behind that island. But they're like, we want to fight. And so this guy's like, I'm going to turn to the left, get ready on the right guns. And we're like so far away, but we don't know how far these cannons shoot. This isn't like Black Wake, you know, where your cannons can fire pretty far. But what's what I do like about this relative to Black Wake a lot more is you have a lot more control of the cannon, which makes it easier and more accessible However, you have to account for the cannon arc, which none of us are familiar with. So here's the ship, and look at that. They're shelling that island. They didn't see us. Our stealth approach worked. They have no idea where we're at. I don't think they're lookouts. And then so that, look at that. We both missed our shots. Mine was pretty low. I had no idea, like, how, and look at this. I didn't really learn my lesson. I'm still thinking we're in Blackwig, so I'm like, okay, I got this. And then I miss. And it's woefully short. So we gotta get the cannons, and the cannons are below deck. So basically on a four-man crew, you'd have one person sailing, one person reloading, maybe two people. Yeah, two people reloading actually would probably be best, and one person shooting. So we're firing, and we've got these two ships that are locked in combat, and neither of them saw us coming. This guy was smart enough to turn off, I think he turned off his lanterns. So we're firing. It's really tricky to use cannons, which definitely encourages you to get close to the enemy ships. But you can see when you do hit an enemy ship, the effects are just brilliant. Like rockets, red glare type stuff going on here. So those two ships are fighting it out. We're, we're, we're taking advantage of the situation. 
None of them, I don't, they, they know we're here, but they're, they're just too tunnel vision. And we're starting to land some hits. And so, at this time, I decided to go get down, get the cannonballs, and bring them back up. Because at, at first, Blitz was the reloader, and Doom and I were firing, but obviously, everybody's going to want to fire the cannons, so Blitz started firing. So we had to go get our own cannons, cannonballs individually. And at this point, I'm just barely out of range. Like, that is the, the most that my cannon can pivot to the left side. The ship, both ships, are turning kind of towards us, and I'm, I, I feel like they're just, like, up next to each other. And look at that, a brilliant shot. I don't know if that was my first or second hit, because I had one that looked like it was online, and, and then they went behind the island, and so did the cannonball. I'm gonna assume I hit it that way, because you know, I'm the best pirate on the seven seas. I'm gonna play this game so much. I'm gonna stream this game so much. I got a group of friends that I'm already planning on playing a lot. And now we start getting in a duel. Incoming cannonball, look at, did you hear that? See, oh my God, you can hear them whiz overhead. They, they, oh, rare, rare, you guys are killing it. Look at this, this is Paradise Spring. Look at that, they're shelling the same spot and every time I try to get a cannonball, uh, we get hit. We're getting hit like in the same spot. So we're, 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 we're trying to repair that. We're, we're low on cannonballs actually. Some of those, some of these barrels are empty and I'm not sure how you get more. Maybe you have to go into port and buy more or you know how that works. So at this point, both ships were fighting one of, that one looks like it's sinking. It's sinking deep, right? So does that one have the treasure? Does the other one have the treasure? Do either of them have the treasure? But we noticed that the other one just decides to go run right now. So we're loading up the cannons, we're getting the ship ready, and we're trying to figure out what's what. So I decide to go down and see if we're taking on water. We are, it's slower than the last time, because we didn't run into an island. We just have a few little cannonball holes, needless to say. So you can hear the guys. I love it, man. This, it looks and sounds so good. I've said it a hundred times and I'll say it a hundred more, but you can hear what's happening and have a pretty good idea. So now it's at this point, you can get buckets and look at that. You get a bucket, takes down the level a certain amount and you just toss it overhead. So two of us got on bucket duty for a little brief time. And now I get the cannonballs because the, because the uh, captain is like, everybody get ready on the cannons. We're going to, we're going to, you know, do it. And then I think I get up here and I see that they're sailing away. So my thought is, these guys definitely, you know these guys have the treasure. Because they're trying, they're making a beeline. If they didn't have the treasure, they would be coming after us. So I'm just worried because they have a pretty good lead on us. If they know what they're doing, they're going to be able to drop anchor, drop sail, everybody jump off and return the treasure, you know, for the ultimate prize. The glory and the Anna. And then I realized that they're sailing near us. I don't I don't know if they meant to do that, if they wanted to do that. But we start firing and look at that, man. So I'm like, man, that shot was pretty bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna cannonballs are hard to aim, man. I lo I have to load that one. That's two cannons across my bow. Oh, just bear to miss. It's it's tough, man. It's It's tough to get your cannons, you know, to hit it, basically. And we're slowly running out of cannonballs. So our options are pretty much whatever cannonballs we have. And this is just planks. So I, I see these holes, and then I learn a little bit about repairing. So that's kind of how you repair the holes. It's a temporary fix, I believe, or not like a complete fix. I'm not sure how many you have to put on the holes, or if you have to go back to the harbor and repair the ship to get it to working 100% later. But I do know that the holes I see, I can repair. So I have a little bit of a use since I can't reload the cannons. But I know they sailed at us. They fired some shots and they went off again. I'm pretty sure they were trying to get closer. And look at that. We sail so far out of the way and they're still heading for that same island with the port. Our captain thinks we're getting ready for battle stations. But if, if you really take a close look, you can tell these guys have a different objective in mind. And I love this game. Oh gosh, I cannot wait till I can play this and stream this. So, I'm kind of in my, in the back of my head. I'm like, man, we gotta we gotta make sure that these sails are catching canvas. I mean, these can this canvas is catching wind, so that we can we can go as fast as possible. Because I in my head right now, they're all hopping off. You can see their sails go up. You can visually see their sails go up. 
And I'm like, whoa, look at that beautiful squall. ADD for you right there. And I look back, I'm barking orders at the guys. I'm like, guys, we got to get there fast. They're, they're unloading the treasure. They're, they're taking what's ours. And, you know, I'm trying to figure out where the ship is. So it looks like they're at Plunder Outpost. Is the name of the island. So I'm like, everybody get ready. We don't have too many cannonballs left. We've got we've got one side, I think. So the thought is, it's like, all right, guys, this is the other, the guy sailing the ship. Is like, oh, we're just gonna sail up next to him and sink the ship. I'm like, we need to jump off and we need to go get the tre the freaking treasure. So you can see when there's not like one person in charge and there's not a true democracy, you know, there's an old saying. There's an old saying that there can only be one captain of a ship. And that is very true. And here. Oh, I love it when you kind of discover things. What I'm curious is when you first start the game, I think it'd be fun if you start with a blank map and you have to go and discover these places. And when those kind of like uh, those things happen, they get marked on your map. And maybe you have just a general outline of the island and you actually have to get on the island and explore it. Look at that. You can see their ships riding kind of low. So we're like, you know what? I'm thinking, well, if they've already returned the treasure, we're at least going to have some fun and destroy the ship. And we thought they were all gone. But you can see that somebody was there. And so we start shelling. Look at that. That cannonball missed my face. Oh, my God. It's just epic. It's freaking epic. Oh, a cannon hit. Dude. And then at this point, I'm like, nope. I'm going overboards, boys. I'm going overboards. And so I get my shotgun, and here I am. I'm so excited. I'm trying to use the shotgun. We're, we're canning him. This guy's trying to swim to us. And now I'm like, man, if only I had a little bit better. And I jump off. I should have waited to jump on the dock. But as a result, oh, you can actually make out a little bit of our, our microphone. Well, that's weird. And look, there's the treasure. There's the treasure right there. So I, I just YOLO charge into two, two guys. Not smart. Not smart. And this is what's cool, though. This happened in the last episode, but if you're new, because we get about over a 1,000 subscribers every day now, which is pretty nuts, you get on the Ferry of the Darned. And this thing is pretty freaky. But that door, what I learned from the last time, is eventually it will open, and you can get up back to the real world. So there's, like, it's a ghost ship. We're literally on a ghost ship. That's funny how now all of a sudden I'm picking up microphones where I wasn't before. But look at that. You can hear you can hear people like yelling and talking about the combat that's happening. You can see by the people that are on the ship who's taking casualty. I see the door open. I'm like, you know what, guys? I'm out of here. And then what I realized was I looked to the screen to my left where Doom was. And when he died, the door was closed. You know, it only, it, you have to be out there for a certain moment. So it's like, even if you get wrecked, and here I am in purgatory again, but I can still hear the ocean. I can hear gunshots in the background. And I'm just, I'm just wanting to get back in the fight. And look at this. We spawn on our ship, which took some cannon shots. And look at that. See that bubbling? That's a hole below the water line. We've repaired most of the ones above it. But I'm like, screw that. I don't care if our ship sinks. I'm going for the treasure. So we all get off the back. And we can jump right on the dock here. And so we're like, reinforcements! And at this time, we're like, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. All of us go together. And there's like one guy over there. So I, I use my shotgun when I shouldn't. And I tell you what, man. If I if I could get used to the uh, gunplay and the mouse, I would hopefully be shooting better than I am now. And so I'm, I'm trying to run. And then, like, look at this. There's the treasure. So I, I, I'm like, I'm going to look at it. I'm like, Doom, grab the treasure, grab the treasure. So he comes back, grabs the treasure, and, and runs with it. Look at this. Look at this guy. And this guy's coming. And then I'm supposed to be protecting him, right? And I look behind me and fall off the dock. And I'm worried because, because that guy was, like, right behind him. So now I'm behind him, and he's chasing Doom. And Doom has the treasure. And our ship just sunk. Our freaking ship just sunk. Uh -huh. So we get out the swords, you know, we have ours, and I cut him down, and look, at that's what happens when they go to the ferry. So Doom picks us up, and then we're like, wait a minute, there's like a little merchant hut right next to us. Our ship sank. We can't take it there. So we're like, let's take it here. Take it to the market. Take it to the market. And we think the market's over there. And then we're like, wait, it's over here. So it's just like, we're all figuring this out. I've never taken the treasure back. And look, 
We got the gold. So what started out as like a really, really rough adventure. We were out there and we sank our own ship on a freaking island. You know? And there's the, the Flight of the Valkyries again on the those bagpipe, you know, bagpipe piano, I'm going to call it. And then we're like, you know what, guys? Let's go to the bar and celebrate. So we, we get our mugs and we refill them with grog. And then we get a little boozy with it to celebrate. You know, I mean, what a, if you're a pirate and you just got a crap ton of gold, what are you going to do? Straight to the tavern, talk to the wenches, drink the grog. What kind of food were pirates big on? Probably like salted fish, I'm going to guess. So you can hear, and look at this, I start to sway because we get a little boozy. I decide to walk out to the beach, and I'm like, it's just another great day to be a pirate. And it's, a, you know what, I'm kind of wandering around. I didn't have too much of my grog because you can get sick. And see that little, that little, that little smoke plume out there? If we want to raise the ship, all you got to do is swim out there and talk to the mermaid. And I'm not sure how that's going to work. And that is the end of our build. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Sea of Thieves. Look at that. The Voyage of the Ghostly Saber. I'm not sure what that's all about. But look at that. Those were our names. I'm pretty sure I was Pyrotropes. And look at that. There's the creepy mermaid in the background. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more... I'm, I'm, this is my most hyped game. It really is. For for 2018, most certainly. Tabs is 2017. See if the use is 2018. Good lord, I'm excited. This is going to be good stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you'd like to see in Sea of Thieves because I'm going to get more footage while I'm here at Gamescom. See you in the next video.